It's well known that Russian tanks and other armor carriers started to suffer casualties as they rolled into Ukraine. Western-supplied ATGMs, or anti-tank guided missiles, like Enlaws and Javelins, took a heavy toll. In mid-May, reports emerged that Russia had deployed its BMPT Terminator tank support combat vehicles in Ukraine. They debuted in Luhansk Oblast in eastern Ukraine, and about 10 were put on the warfront. The futuristic-looking platform was touted to be a wonder weapon that could be used to counter the asymmetric tactics used by the Ukrainian army. The Terminator is designed to primarily defeat anti-tank forces. But contrary to expectations, they didn't seem to make much impact. Out of 10 available, at least one vehicle was lost, several more were damaged and sent to the territory of the Russian Federation for repair. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why BMPT Terminator has failed in Ukraine. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The BMPT, unofficially called Terminator, is an armored fighting vehicle AFV, designed and manufactured by the Russian company Urolvogonzovod. The vehicle was designed for supporting tanks and other AFVs in urban areas. The history of the BMPT's development can be traced back to the Soviet-Afghan War. The need for a vehicle such as this became even more evident during the First Chechen War, where it suffered heavy losses when confronting Chechen guerrillas. Russian tanks designed for open terrain were unable to raise or lower their main gun barrels high enough to engage Chechenian anti-tank gunners. Without proper infantry support, they were knocked out one after the other. Terminator was conceived to counter this problem by driving alongside armored forces. The BMPT is mounted on the T-90 tank chassis and is heavily protected with reactive armor. The protection of the BMPT is superior to most MBTs as active and passive protection is used and additional armor is distributed to the hull of the vehicle. It's powered by a V92S2 diesel engine which produces 1,000 horsepower or 736 kilowatts. It has an operational range of 550 kilometers or 340 miles and can reach a maximum speed of 60 kilometers per hour or 37 miles per hour. Terminator has a crew of five, which consists of a vehicle commander, a driver, a gunner, and two grenade launcher operators. NBC protection is provided to the crew to ensure survival against radiation, chemical, and biological weapons. As an option, the BMPT can be fitted with mine-clearing devices, such as the KMT-7 or KMT-8 minesweepers. Terminator has four weapons to counter the opponent's anti-tank forces. Terminator has four Ataka ATGM launchers as a set of primary armaments to defeat enemy tanks and infantry. Only one missile is carried for each of the launchers without any additional ones stowed away. Two ATGM launchers are located on each side of the turret. The 9M120 Ataka missile has anti-tank, anti-personnel, and anti-aircraft variants, the first two being the most commonly used by the BMPT. The missile's average speed for all variants is 400 meters per second when reaching a target located 5.8 kilometers from the launcher for a flight time of 14.5 seconds. The platform has twin autocannons, which have a combined fire rate of 600 rounds per minute. A total of 850 rounds of ready-use ammunition can be carried. A wide range of ammunition is used by the 2A42 autocannon, and they include high explosive and armor piercing. These rounds have effective ranges between 2,500 meters 
and 4,000 meters depending on the variant. Terminator has a pair of either AGS-17D or AGS-30 grenade launchers, one located on each side of the BMPT and operated by a single crew member. A total of 600 rounds of 30 mm grenades are carried for both grenade launchers. There's no reloading for the grenade launchers because each one holds 300 rounds in a single belt. An effective range of 1,700 meters is provided while the kill radius of the 30 mm grenades is 7 meters. The platform has a single 7.62 mm PKTM machine gun mounted coaxially with the main armament and holds 2,000 rounds. It has a range of 4,000 meters. On paper, it seems to be perfect for the role it was supposed to perform, but the actual battlefield performance was not up to the mark. Mikola Salamaka, a military expert and reserve lieutenant colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, concluded that the war showcased that the concept of this tank support vehicle was an impasse. He explained his opinion in an interview with Serhii Zuretz, the director of the Defense Express Information and Consulting Agency, during a joint project of Defense Express and the Espresso TV channel. In particular, as Salamaka pointed out, Throughout the entire 10 to 15 years of theoretical discussions, the Russian military didn't manage to create a coherent concept of the use of the Terminator tank support fighting vehicle in the conditions of real combat. Technically, proper tactics were not developed to make use of this platform. The expert also stated that the Russians made the construction of the BMPT's tower too bulky. For example, one operator gunner has to control the firing of two automatic guns simultaneously, and by design, only one type of ammunition could be used for shooting, either armor-piercing or high-explosive. Meanwhile, for comparison, in the mentioned BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle, with one automatic cannon, one can use both armor-piercing and high-explosive shells during combat. So, as it turns out, the BMPT Terminator is even less effective than the BMP-2. It remains to be seen how Russia manages these issues in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.